people on the outside who know nothing about the fashion industry imagine that you sit in your studio, you are sketching away, <laughs> yeah. you then send those designs off to the factory, they make the clothes and they come back and you show them in a fashion show. Exactly. Nowhere near. Nowhere near what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I have been working in fashion for nearly, whew, it's coming up to 13 years, 14 years. Jonathan Anderson holds two high profile roles within the fashion industry. He's creative director of Spanish luxury label Lueve, as well as his London based company, JW Anderson. But his sphere of influence extends well beyond these two brands. For me, it's all about mind mapping. I sit at the center of it as an eye, as a curator. From that is satellite projects. So it's all kind of interlinked. Curation and collaboration have come to define many of Anderson's creative pursuits. Over the years, he's worked with brands like Converse and Uniqlo. He staged exhibitions blending art with fashion and championed craftspeople from a range of mediums. It's this approach, he says, that gets him out of bed in the morning. I enjoy pressure. Some people don't enjoy pressure, but I like continual dialogues because I feel like my boredom threshold is incredibly uh, short, let's put it that way. Everything that I do in it, I have to be curious about. There has to be a curiosity to find things. Every day you have to find something new. When I was asked to work with Montclair Genius, I think I was waiting a long time, actually, to be honest. <laughs> In 2018, Italian brand Montclair, who are known for making luxury outerwear, created Montclair Genius, a platform which invites well-regarded designers to create special collections under the Genius moniker, releasing these garments throughout the year. I have been obsessed by the project because Raymond really pioneered a very new way of tackling the collaboration. He made it like a house. He was like, I'm going to put all these people into this house and they can do whatever they want. You can paint it this color, whatever. I thought the principle was smart. It was like a no brainer for me. You know, I always think with the collaboration, it can't be a one way street. It has to be a meeting of two minds. It has to be a meeting of two brands. One cannot overpower the other. Montclair, I think it's a blank page. There is no boundary. And I think that's why it works, like, because, you know, a designer hates parameters. Well, I think fashion is always about the distance. It's always about distance. It's always about creating desire. It's like art in a similar way, which is like, how do you create desire out of something which you sometimes is unattainable? But sometimes I think we have to kind of break it down a bit more and explain what fashion is doing. I really believe that people want authenticity. I think they want you to be real. And at the same time, I think through this moment, I think we want empathy. These are big challenges for not even just fashion, I think for industry in general. For me, craft is one of the bedrocks of creativity, of making. I think fashion is about making. When I, for example, started my own brand, I've always collected craft, either baskets or ceramics or anything that looks that there is someone who's got a highly skilled approach to with their hands. That, for me, has always been tantalizing. I've always find that fascinating, this idea of being able to show something from a raw material into a finished good. I am glad that I stuck to that philosophy, that the idea is that the make is what is important, the brand comes second. That's why I think the creative director role has changed. <laughs>